Hello everyone, my name is Dubravka Lazic and I'm a professor of photography and photographic media development, aka history of photography, uh, at the Academy of Arts in Novi Sad, University of Novi Sad. Um, my personal experience in teaching those two subjects um, have gave me to some foundation which is actually the key for this presentation. As I mentioned already, photography and photographic media development are subjects that are taught within the cur curriculum of Bachelor and Master Studies at Photography Study Program at the Academy of Art. I have been working at the Academy ever since 1998, but I have been um, working as a professor, I think, uh, ever since 2010 or 2012. And... Um, Throughout these years, uh, I have actually had the opportunity to use my personal experience in order to create uh, specific modalities when it comes to teaching these two subjects. What is actually interesting that uh, photography and photographic media development are subjects that are taught at the same study program for the same group of students, but um, they belong to different types of subject and are actually defined as artistic and theoretical uh, subjects. So uh, this raises a question, uh, uh, how can one person, one professor, be uh, qualified to teach uh, those two different types of subjects? Uh, first of all, um, I have made some conclusions throughout the years, and what is, um, what is certain is that you have to apply your, your personal experience uh, gained through the years of your own artistic work, work in fields of, field of photography, and also you have to be able to apply your knowledge uh, that has been in, acquired um, in the field of humanities. So combining those knowledge uh, and experience through methodological approaches is the key for being a successful professor uh, in these two different areas or these two different subjects. So when it comes to photography, this subject is in regular cur curriculum of study program photography that is in the field of fine arts and the type of this subject is purely artistic. Also, uh, this subject is a main subject, main artistic subject for the students of photography at the Academy of Arts in Novi Sad and it lasts for four years on bachelor studies and it lasts for eight semesters therefore. So um, you have to be able to make division and to uh, separate these teaching units according to the volume of the material that you have to present or also according to the curriculum and according to the number of tasks and to total number of classes within one year. So this is the structure. It's a structure that is also same for any other subject that is uh, integrated in the curriculum of any study program. Uh, what is... Um, specific for art uh, subjects such as photography, uh, you are uh, presenting yourself as a professor who has artistic knowledge, who has artistic experience, who has his own artistic sensibility, of course, and you have to work with young artists and each one of them is individual person, individual artist and has individual artistic approach and artistic sensibility. So you have to combine the two. You have to combine the firm structure of a teaching process and you have to also be aware of the fact that uh, each year you have a different group of students and each year you have to make personal relations to them on this um, foundation, on this base of um, the pure knowledge that each uh, one of the students is different, different artists that, that is. Uh, so, uh, when you start teaching photography, as I already said, you have to make some kind of structure in order to um, transfer all the knowledge that you have to do within one year. And usually, uh, photography as a subject and um, as an assignment in general um, uh, is con uh, combined uh, within uh, different types of photography that are taught throughout the four years. Generally, you have to make... Um, the introduction to the assignment or the task. You have to set it up. For example, when it comes to reportage, you have to make specific uh, theoretical base uh, for students that will have to do this assignment in artistic way. So it means in practical way. So you start with theory. You start with presentation of the specific structure and problems of the assignment uh, throughout um, um, 
the the the, the uh, lectures that are based on the information so theoretical knowledge and information about the evolution of the uh, photography evolution of the reportage if this is the example that I have presented etc so in a way when starting when starting using uh, your knowledge and, and when starting teaching photography and when you start um, to present an assignment you have to put yourself in a way in um, theory uh, uh, theory uh, theory field in order to um, explain some things that are acquired from the students and that then they should do with the within their own practical artistic work so um, you have to uh, move on, you have to go forwards. But uh, for me, it is really interesting to find this um, conclusion that you have to start as a theoretician and then go on as an artist and practitioner. So you present uh, the examples, you compare them, you show previous students' generations' work. Uh, they serve as an example of... Uh, for students who will do the similar type of the assignment. So you can say this is a pointing method. And later on, uh, you have to make an individual approach to each student uh, according to his or her affinity as an artist. So this is individual approach method. Uh, if we think uh, about uh, teaching process in photography in this methodological way, you can make some structure, of course, and you should, uh, that will uh, serve you as uh, you know, as a backbone for your, your teaching method. But in the same uh, time, you really have to be aware of this uh, difference that is presented to you in the group because each uh, student has this different individual artistic approach on one hand. On the other hand, you also have to be very aware that uh, you as a professor, as an authority in a way, uh, cannot and must not um, input your uh, uh, personal artistic uh, sensibility as the main one. So um, you should be really, really uh, aware of the fact that uh, there is a specific da danger uh, in, the, in that uh, area uh, where students usually uh, try to copy the authority. So this is also one thing that... Uh, art professor should be aware of. Uh, further on, when it comes to working on the assignment in photography subject, uh, students usually um, bring their photos, they work from one week to another on the assignments. We review the, the material, we compare them, we make selections and we fo focus on further work of each student. So you can say that this is a method of learning through practice. Uh, on these slides, I have put uh, as an illustration students' work, some of it from the previous generation, some of the con contemporary generation, contemporary students, and uh, current students, actually. And you can see, actually, how through work uh, of students, this assignment uh, takes shape. And at the end, uh, they have to finalize their assignment and their task in a specific form, usually uh, when it comes to reportage, uh, it should be a photo book of the work that I have done already. Or in every other uh, task, it has to be a selection of the best photos that I have done throughout um, the semester or during just the work on this specific assignment or specific topic. So um, this um, photography uh, subject uh, has its structure. It's artistic and professor should um, present himself as an artist who will, uh, through the combination of somewhat theory and theoretical knowledge and mostly practical work, uh, uh, who will um, produce uh, uh, great tasks and great assignments uh, from students mining the fact that each and single one of them is an individual artist. On the other hand, those same students uh, are actually um, attending um, development of the photographic medium subject, uh, which is also the subject on the study program of photography. It is also in the field of fine arts, but the type is theoretical, ar theoretical artistic subject. So uh, my question and uh, my um, 
uh, the, 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 the question that interests me the most is how should I uh, um, split myself into two different professors uh, or two different personalities who uh, on one hand teach the same students uh, art and on the other, other hand I teach them uh, something that belongs to humanities which is the history of photography. Uh, uh, on the other hand, on one hand, the work structure of uh, this other subject, development of the photographic medium, is simple. Uh, it has uh, its uh, uh, class found in the vision of uh, educational and uh, other material uh, presentation of the program within teaching units that you have on your disposal. And you have to inform the students about the importance of theoretical knowledge, uh, which uh, has influence on their own personal development and development of the photographic medium, which is their uh, main and general medium, general art, art that they have uh, chosen to uh, do in their life. And um, so uh, you have uh, assignment that is like um, um, really, really um, specific. You present yourself both as an artist on one hand, on the other hand, you present also yourself as a theoretician who uh, helps them develop their own personal artistic skills in the best possible way. So when it comes to this other subject, theoretical subject, uh, the structure is somewhat the same. You have to present the material, you have to present the volume of the material, uh, you make the introduction to the subject, uh, give the practical information about the literature needed, uh, exam specifications, and then you make the vision of teaching approach according to the material that has been divided into two units, actually two years. Uh, history of photography is a subject that they are listening uh, on uh, the, uh, in, uh, during the two-year period. Uh, then uh, this approach uh, in teaching theory is somewhat different uh, than the teaching, of course, art. Uh, this is theory. This is uh, theoretical class. It is a group work, so you could say that it is a verbal textual, textual method that you use. And, of course, uh, one uses additional teaching aids and video materials, also review of materials with analysis and comments, which is pointing or interactive method. Every time uh, I use these other um, aids in uh, my uh, classes, such as uh, films or other video materials, um, I really um, try not to play them a movie or to play them a video material without um, any analysis or any comment. So we usually uh, play the movie, play the video, then we hit the stop or the break button in order to explain uh, what is happening and why is that topic so important and to try to make some um, relation and liaison to their own work or the assignment that they are working on uh, at the moment. So um, this specific of the methodological approach are really necessary because um, if you are implementing, implementing these two subjects, uh, you are actually working with the same group of students, the same, same people are actually involved. Um, and uh, the, the differences and similarities in the approaches um, to the explication of the segments provided by the curriculum are something that you always have to have in mind. Again, um, uh, this is like... Um, dividing yourself into two different personalities and two different professors, uh, since on one hand you teach uh, as an artist and on the other hand you teach as a theoretician, on, I again repeat the same uh, group of students and the same people. Uh, so when it comes to teaching history of photography, I really um, try to be as, um, as theoretical as I can, of course. Uh, the structure of the subject is uh, very specific and you cannot teach history of photography in any other way. But what you can do, because you know that you're working with artists, with young artists, is to compare um, uh, the content of your subject and your lessons with uh, modern photographic practice and also to direct students toward individual thinking and to... to um, direct them uh, and try to make them apply this knowledge within their own artistic work. So there is an example of uh, uh, students' work um, at, on this slide, uh, which has uh, actually been done maybe 
eight, I don't know, in 2014, okay? And it's a work of a Nemanja Delia student, and you can see the resemblance with the work of Richard Avedon, uh, and the assignment was the portrait. So uh, I don't mean to make them um, copy other artists or other photographers, but what you can do when you're teaching history of photography to uh, present them uh, the knowledge that they really have to know and to explain them why this knowledge and why this history of photography or specific artists are important and what is the significance of their own work. Uh, so when they make their own assignments and when they make their, their own body of work, um, they uh, have this information, they have this knowledge about what's good and what's not so good. Uh, so uh, these specifics uh, in the methodological approach approaches are really necessary uh, to consider and to apply during teaching of the two subjects. Uh, these differences and similarities in approaches uh, are provided also by the curriculum. So when you uh, teach history of photography and also have to teach photography is uh, based on the curriculum of the study program. Uh, this is why you really have to uh, position yourself in this double role as a professor and you have to always and constantly think about these methods that you are using in order to provide the best educational process towards students. And uh, this diverse approach to students and content method is actually a variable of the teaching process and this raises the question of its structure and constant. So uh, can you say that um, methodologies that are used, methods that are used uh, when teaching uh, art subject or theory subject, uh, can you say, can you name them as constant ones? I'm not so sure. Uh, uh, why? Well, uh, first of all, I already mentioned you are always teaching towards the different group of students and to different individuals, young individuals on one hand. And on the other hand, um, things change. Art changes. Uh, art is constantly evolving. So uh, the specific curriculums and the specific contents of these subjects are also something that um, is changing. So, uh, in a way, uh, you are evolving as a professor, uh, methods are also evolving, changing, adopting, and the contents and the art and the curriculums are something that you have to constantly moderate and um, upgrade, actually, and to um, adjust towards the, the, the art uh, of today, the artistic practice of today. So, this raises a question. Um, uh, those, those different or similar methodological modalities um, that form teaching approach to the subject uh, to the, to, that belong to the field of art, uh, but are different in their structure, um, are they uh, um, eligible for um, some kind of uh, definition? Can you make a definition out of these experiences or can you make a definition out of um, these approaches and these um, um, experiences that you have when teaching two different subjects. Um, I can um, maybe say or make a, make somewhat personal conclusions that teachers' personal experience, the artistic sensibility, the exhibitional practice, etc., and its integration into the presentation of the content of these two subjects cannot be defined as methodological cat category. Uh, I don't mean to be um, negative <laughs> or pessimistic, but um, this is a conclusion that I actually don't find, um, um, don't look in this negative aspect. Uh, this is something that makes really a special challenge of contemporary educational practice in the field of art and forms a further need uh, for research and for analysis of these specifics because it is really made important to achieve the synthesis, the synthesis of potentially new conclusions that can further clarify or enrich pedagogical work in the teaching of art subjects. In other words, um, we all gain from knowledge and we all gain from the experience. And on one hand, on the other hand, um, this is what um, actually uh, this science of uh, methodological approach and um, Pedag pedagogical, pedagogical approach is all about. Um, since art and uh, 
contemporary art scene and actually professorship is constantly evolving and adapting to each other, so does these methodologies in my point of view. Uh, and when it comes to teaching within art field, um, again, uh, this what is constant is that uh, every single time you have to work with uh, different individuals. So uh, this um, difference is actually constant. The difference uh, in students' personal integrities, artistic integrities, is a constant. And maybe we can start uh, from there. And for the end and for the conclusion, I can only say that uh, it is a blessing to do this kind of job and do this kind of work and to take a new role each uh, year when it comes to meeting the new students and presenting yourself to them, both as a professor of an art uh, subject or as a theoretical subject. And uh, for the end, I will thank you with our um, group photo that shows uh, students, professors, and um, assistant on photography study program, which maybe in the best way uh, illustrates um, the atmosphere uh, of gaining the artistic knowledge through how to get to know each other. Thank you very much.